Here are the teams for the 2018 Carabao Cup final. Arsene Wenger confirmed earlier in the week that he would keep David Ospina in goal and resist any temptation to bring in Petr Cech. The Wembley win here in April was achieved with three at the back and Arsenal have reverted to that today. So wing-backs either side of Jack Wilshere and Granit Xhaka, whose goal against Chelsea got Arsenal into this final. Fraser Ozil has recovered from illness, but Lacazette is injured. The Qatarian Cup tied. Sanchez, Giroud and Walker all gone. So much depends on Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in only his third game for the Gunners and a fit again Aaron Ramsey. Something of a lucky Wembley charm for Arsenal. Per Mertesacker, who hasn't featured since the FA Cup defeat at Nottingham Forest, is amongst the substitutes. So like Arsenal, Pep Guardiola uses his second string keeper in domestic cup ties and Claudio Bravo has certainly worked his passage to Wembley with two successful penalty shootouts. Since the company has held this trophy aloft twice already and he's back in today, Fabian Delft is suspended so the left back job goes to Danilo. The last time that they won it, Fernandinho was a scorer in the final against Liverpool. It was a match that was missed by Kevin De Bruyne who was out with a knee injury, but it's Raheem Sterling who's the unlucky man today, not fit. Sergio Aguero needing two goals to reach 200 for Manchester City. Gabriel Jesus is available again from the bench for the first time in 2018. And away we go. Sunny and chilly at Wembley. Cleared by Company, headed forward by Monreal. Company in quickly again. And it's looking like Jack Wilshire for Arsenal is playing out on the left hand side. And Ramsey's playing deeper alongside Shaka. He's playing look high on the left up against Kyle Walker at the moment. And here is Wilshire, Ian Koscielny, in the last Arsenal team to play in the League Cup final seven years ago, and they were shocked by. Birmingham City, beaten by Birmingham City. Suddenly, Wilshire finds a bit of room. And, uh, the supporting cast arriving. Oh, oh. Bamiyan from close range looked at the flag, it didn't go up. They had a touch, Arsenal, in an attacking sense. They very nearly were in front here. And there's a one on ball that's gone all the way over Man City. And Jack Wilsh is in and through, and they're backing it up really well. Ramsey's up like you would want your centre forward. Is he just offside, maybe? Aubameyang, I think it's Kyle Walker that gets the foot in. And a little bit of good fortune. It is the Kyle Walker foot. And Bravo just dives in the way. And you know, wanting Bravo to come and get it, but the whistle's gone. Free kick for Ramsey. This is flexing a hip muscle or part of the lower back. Nacho Monreal, one of Arsenal's most consistent players this season. They've got a free kick in exactly the same position as they had a few minutes ago. It'd be interesting to see whether Ozil repeats. The delivery or try something different. And instead of one left footer, we've got two. Yeah. <laughs> but even if someone made a run outside here, just try to do something slightly different. I think can't quite work out what to do. It looks like as the setup. So it is again going further away. Someone's trying to attack it. He's tried two different techniques now. The first time he tried to whip it in, didn't work. The next one he tried to sort of you know, drive it with a little bit of backspin on it, but that's not worked either. Back in training for a couple of days. Oh, it's Aguero right through the middle! Sergio Aguero, the scourge of Arsenal again! He scores against the Gunners for a fifth match in a row. And moves himself to 199 Manchester City goals. Well, those Manchester City fans and him, he started the game so well. I mentioned the term under 12s before. Look at Mustafi there in the middle. 
He's got Aguero behind him. I mean, that is not a foul. Mustafi's got to be stronger than that. It's pathetic defending. And the goalkeeper, well, he's just still in no man's land. He can see it coming from a mile off. Yeah, maybe the two of the central defenders should be round him, but it's really bad for Mustafi. And I think Espina, well, he makes Aguero's mind up for him. Someone of that quality, world-class finisher, he's not going to make that mistake. I mean, people will say, said, no, that is, that is rubbish. De Bruyne. Sane, that's the better fair in. To Farrett, hard and low, Chambers was at the front post. Just shown there, Sane, one on one, he's got the beating of Bellerin. Now it's over. Gundogan. Attacked by Vincent Company. Another look at the goal, Gary. Yeah, he's just standing in a position that he probably never expects to get it and cannot believe it. Two Arsenal defenders appeal. I have to say, I don't think Espina's particularly good. In fact, he's shocking. The goalkeeper just stands in no man's land. Doesn't go and commit himself, which maybe makes it a little bit more difficult. Just stands still, half comes forward, goes back. Poor goalkeeping as well. Such a soft goal, but a brilliant finish from Aguero. Danilo. Squeezed in by De Bruyne. Fernandinho, too much on that. Jacka. Pressed by Gundogan. They've done it fairly enough. Here's Aguero. To line up maybe number 200. Oh, a little clip across. And hit into the side netting by Kevin De Bruyne. Well, Sané's looking at Sergio Aguero. I do think he should have played it through to him. There. Decides to go on his own. It's a difficult angle for him. He just chips it and stands it up to the back post. Eventually comes to De Bruyne. Every time I watch a speed, it makes me very, very nervous. Strong play by Chambers. Well, it's been a bitty first half in truth. But the one goal has gone City's way, and the odds are if it does, it will be Sergio Aguero who gets it. But it was one of the more direct Manchester City goals that they've scored this season. Arsenal huffed and puffed a bit since then, but at half time, it's Arsenal nil, City won. Changes at half time. Remember, Arsenal made a substitution in the first half. I lost Nacho Monreal. Room for improvement, not just for Arsenal, that's the worrying thing for them. If they get better, City have still got one or two gears to find. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think if you're Arsene Wenger at half time, you just say to his players, Look, it's a cup final, at least play, show some authority, some confidence on the ball. I mean, they look nervous at the back, but they've actually not really looked very good on the ball as well. Get the ball into Ozil, get the ball nearer to Obama Yang so they can play passes through to him that mean something. And misjudgment by Bayerian. got beyond him to Sane. I don't think Arsene Wenger will be able to say to his team at half time, well, you're still very much in it. Yeah. I think if you're Pep Guardiola, you would just say, look, play properly. You do these two, three, and four. Followed by Chambers. Not sure he'll have delivered it with that berry twang, but. <laughs> <laughs> the 
but he is someone who demands oh, excellence, particularly in possession. He's been frustrated in the first half with his team in terms of the amount of time they did give the ball away. No sign of the yellow ribbon that's got him into trouble as a political statement. That's a booking. In trouble here. There's uh, Callum Chambers. And he did look sharp in the first mm. half when they got the ball into Maguero. Again, starts this half well. Just fancy maybe a cheeky shot here. Shot come cross, De Bruyne just aimed for that far corner, but also trying to hit the top of company and Otamendi's heads at the same time. Maguire going towards the near post. Just uh, taken away from him, Otamendi made a similar run. Just got the touch. Corner for City. They've uh, been successful the last two times these clubs have met in this competition. Prior to that, Arsenal won five in a row in the League Cup against Manchester City. Back in by Danilo. Company! Well, it was. So close. Well, the technique was strange from Vincent Company. It comes out to Danilo. I was thinking about the goal he scored at Burnley. And he plays it into the middle and he's leaning back, actually, Vincent Company. It's unusual when you are leaning back to keep it down. There's a deflection. Off Koscielny. Ozil. Cut by Bayerin. That's the problem Arsenal are finding at the moment when they retrieve possession. City come back at them again because they can't keep the ball. Corner. Well, that's been the story of City's season where they've been brilliant in possession, keeping it high up the pitch, and then when they do give it away, sustaining attacks and the team really not being able to get out. The City have stepped it up. The start of this second half, far better from them. And the silver again. That's the responding uh, attack to the two against two. Ball comes in. Wilshire. Again, City so good at winning the ball back, but uh, Bayerin gives Obama Yang something to chase. Oh, and Bravo's made a mess of it. And then uh, the assistant on the far side flagging in Dario Bravo's favour. Well, it was the one Manchester City player that can match Aubameyang, and that's Kyle Walker, so Bravo didn't really need to get involved, but once he gets there, mm. he's got to deal with it. It's a lot of good fortune. Kyle Walker's got it actually covered. David Silva, so pushing the back, given that way. Mustafi, that same uh, waving the arms as it was when he thought he was fouled for the goal. He'd been better off doing that on the goal. Yeah. He should have been that aggressive on the goal and actually done that to Sergio Aguero. Not at the edge of his own box. I mean, De Bruyne asked the question before, would he shoot? I'm absolutely certain he will from here. Well, just for the record, there hasn't been a 1-0 final this century in the League Cup. As Kevin De Bruyne eyes up the possibility of making it 2-0 here. Because it's in his repertoire to go under a wall if it jumps. Must have all been primed about that, surely. He's in that low crouch position, Espina. De Bruyne low. Oh, to mend it. Retrieved by company. Nice to play midfield and uh, shows a touch or two of his pass in uh, almost his football dotage now. A man who 
who's come through the massive change at Manchester City in the last 10 years or so. He, he was signed before the current owners ploughed the riches into East Manchester. Gundogan and diverted in by Vincent Kompany. The grip on the Carabao Cup gets that much firmer for Manchester City. Well, what a moment for Vincent Kompany. The City fans have been singing his name leading into that corner. He won the corner himself with some nice skill on that right-hand side. And he could have just gone and won his team a cup final. I have to say, the mark at the edge of the box is terrible. He just concentrates really well, Gundan. Keep it down, aim it into an area of the goal where there's players. It's well, a good there, finish. There is a VAR referral on the position of Leroy Sane there. No, not for me. Not for me, it's a goal. I have to say, he does well, he diverts it like a centre-forward towards the goal. He played like a winger in the lead-up to the goal as well, winning the corner. And what a moment for him. Well, there weren't many periods in the first half. Despite the, they got the only goal of the first half, where you felt that Manchester City were really in control, but you do feel that now. Look at Shaka and the Rams are going back. Look at them getting back. Central midfield Leonardo players. Silva. Sane. Aguero waiting in the middle. Sane. Pick it across. Aguero trying to get the touch that would mean 200 goals for the club for him. Ready the record scorer. Danilo. David Silva. And he's got one. All three scorers from 2014, 2016 and now 2018 winning teams. Surely it will be a win for Manchester City. They lead Arsenal by three goals to nil. Well, I have to say, in this period of Manchester City's history, you think of Yaya Torre, David Silva, Vincent Kompany, Sergio Aguero, and three of them have scored, Martin, you make a great point. And this is a great, great goal. Forget Arsenal, I'll come on to them in a minute because they're a disgrace. But this is a wonderful, wonderful touch from David Silva. He's a great player. He takes it on his back foot. And then can he finish? It's not the best part of his game, but it's wonderful. Across the Spina. Hits it into the far corner. And takes the game away from Arsenal and towards Manchester City. Well, three goal scorers who sowed the seeds, really. Russia gets another go. There's it. It will be. Here comes Sonny. And also go and win it back, uh, almost Manchester City style. Very nearly produced uh, a notch on the score sheet for Granit Xhaka, who scored the winner in the semi-final. Yeah, for one of the first times in the game, Arsenal have won the ball high up the pitch, which gives Arsenal and Xhaka an opportunity to get close. He hits them well from distance. It's always over. Well, a week which started with egg on their faces ends with a trophy in their hands. Pep Guardiola's first trophy in English football, too and one that Arsene Wenger has still never got his hands on. The treble is certainly on. For the third time in five seasons they've done it, and they've done it with their senior citizens today. Sergio Aguero with a goal in the first half. Vincent Kompany with a really emotional one to make it 2-0, and David Silva, still such a stylist, wrapped up the win. Arsenal never really got going. That early chance for Alabama Yang. Mustafi was seen off, really, for the opening goal. They came up 
very short. Their sixth defeat already in 2018. And it doesn't get any easier when they face City again. And you can watch it with us, remember, on Thursday evening. Let's get some reaction straight away. And Vincent Company is with Guy Havard. Vincent, many congratulations. You've won this competition for a third time and a goal scorer as well. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, the second one was... No, actually, you know, I, I'm going to be honest, before the game, I don't know, I, I thought I was going to score. I came close a few times in the game and then... I mean, it's, it's just the luck on the day, to be honest, but um, uh, maybe a little bit of self-belief as well. So for me and for the team, it's a special, always a trophy. Um, we are happy and very happy for this moment. Tell us about your goal. You looked across at Mustafi and had a little look at him with the eyes. What were you thinking? No, I think um, it's, for me it's, uh, there was no foul, so touch a little bit and then uh, the finish was was good, lucky, but uh, I'm happy because uh, it was a goal. You're going to be lifting the trophy again in a few moments' time. Had there been again, moments again. in recent times where you again, feared you again. might not? I mean, yeah, <laughs> I am. Um, no, always. Um, if, if I kind of look back at my personal situation, you um, you'd be prepared to put in six months of hard work. You look at Mendy; he's had a he's had an ACL, and and it's worth every minute of hard work to be to be standing out there. Uh, I'm sure the pundits have played enough games in their careers to know that that um, you know it's worth every chance you have. You have to take it, and, and today I did it. The team did it, so it's a good. This is the first trophy under Pep Guardiola. How important is that for him and the group and going forward? No, it's important for us, for, for the team, for the staff, for Pep, the club. So we have to keep going. So that. Worthy winners of the Carabao Cup. And watch out for the treble. Modest manager, but the heartbeat of it all, Gary Neville. Full of deserve, having an absolutely fantastic season. You can see the spirit that they've got already, but this will improve even more. And now it's just a question of when they win the Premier League. They've already got one trophy in the back. Let's say a happy bunch of players. And for him, Sergio Aguero, a great player for Manchester City. Vincent Company, David Silva, the scorers on the day. They have been great players, not just for City, but in the Premier League as well. And they've come good. They have many congratulations. What does it mean to win that trophy today? Well, it's important. So there are titles more important than this one, but of course, it's, we are so happy. We congratulations for all Manchester City. So the, Sheikh Mansour, Sheikh Khaldun, the big bosses and the last person. So, big congratulations, of course, for our fans. Why did you stay down here when the players went up to pick up the trophy? Because it's nice. It's, it's, see it from here is nicer. It was a nice day for you, wasn't it? Did you feel it was quite comfortable? You just needed to kick on in the second half? Yeah, the first half, we were not, the end was not good. Uh, a lot of mistakes in the simple passes. In the second half, we play with more courage, personality, and that's why we play much, much better. In the second half, we were outstanding. Was it quite ironic for all the beautiful football you played this year that the first goal was just a big kick downfield? <laughs> football is... you have to control absolutely everything, so... Yeah, it's part of the football. And what will this do for the group, do you think, with the league going so well and still in the Champions League? Is this a big moment? Well, it was so important to win this one after our defeat in the Cup. It's a pity because play 45 minutes, 10 against 11, the FA Cup is difficult, but we we play good, but unfortunately we could not go through. But now we have to focus absolutely in the Premier League to, to try to to win the games. And, and finally... And after arrive good in the, in the finals, the quarterfinals. Champion. And finally, you said it's not about you, but is there a relief that you have won your first trophy with Man City? It's for the Manchester City, not for me. I felt uh, in the game uh, we had the first good chance and uh, a very easy one that we missed. And 
After that, uh, we made a big mistake on the first goal, and uh, so we controlled them quite well in the first half. Second half, we came out. I felt uh, we had a poor start, and uh, we are unlucky as well because uh, the second goal is offside. And uh, after that, uh, it was too much for us. And uh, I wanted to make a change at 2-0, but the game uh, didn't stop. And after 3-0, it was late. And uh, of all, congratulations to Man City. In the end, they deserved the win. Inevitably, the way you conceded the first goal will lead to questions again about Arsenal's defending. What are your thoughts on that situation and the criticism that comes your way? Football game, uh, when you lose games and when you make mistakes, you have to accept to be criticised, you know, and uh, I, uh, it's emotionally, of course, difficult after a game, a final always, so you do not want to go too much into uh, criticism. Uh, that's the easiest part. I believe that uh, we have to recover quickly. We came to the final uh, and uh, at the end of the day, we lost, it's true, but uh, we have to focus now on the next Premiership game. Is, though, the subject of defending something that you need to improve on and improve on quickly if you're to bring silverware this season, given that Europe now seems your only option for that? When you lose a 3 nil, uh, you, you have, of course, to look at uh, defending better. I still feel... Uh, uh, sometimes uh, for periods in the game we defend very well and suddenly we lose a little bit of uh, concentration and uh, against quality teams you pay for it.